I'll be giving an overview of our paper, The Ingredients of Real-World Robotic Reinforcement Learning. Reinforcement learning is a general framework which allows robots to learn through their own interactions with the environment. When thinking about how to apply RL to robotics problems, a popular approach is to train policies in simulation and then transfer them to the real world. However, simulations can be expensive to create, especially for environments that are complex or difficult to model, and also inaccuracies in the simulation might interfere with transfer. We propose instead to train robots with RL directly in the real world, which enables robots to scalably adapt to new environments and to get better at tasks as they collect more data. Here are some examples of robots that are trained with RL directly in the real world. While the learned behaviors are impressive, if we take a little look behind the scenes, we discovered that these successes relied on elaborate and carefully constructed setups in order to obtain the information necessary to do RL. For example, sensors were placed on the doors to measure their angles and another robot used to replace fallen balls to the robot's hand. In particular, the standard RL formulation assumes access to a reset mechanism, the Markovian state information, and a reward function. Meeting these assumptions in the real world often requires instrumentation, making RL difficult to scale to new environments. We propose that a real-world robotic RL system should be able to learn in the absence of resets, learn directly from the robot's own sensor information, and learn from rewards inferred by the robot itself. Each component of the system offers its own challenges, and in fact these challenges compound when combined. However, a system addressing all three challenges is possible, and we will now go over our particular instantiation, as well as its successful application to a real-world robotics task. We'll start first with the problem of learning without resets. We find that when run reset-free, robots can get stuck in certain states for long periods of time, while normally resets prevent robots from getting stuck for longer than an episode. Another challenge is that if the robot is successful and the environment is not reset, the robot will not continue learning since the optimal behavior is to do nothing. If this happens, the robot fails to learn how to successfully accomplish the task from a variety of initializations. In fact, we observe this phenomenon in experiments, which are shown in the figure on the right, that even though training performance is strong, the learn policy is not useful at test time when evaluated starting from different states. In order to avoid getting stuck at challenging states or the goal, we propose training a separate perturbation controller. The perturbation controller is trained with an exploration objective, which encourages it to visit less seen states. During training, we replace the reset phase with an episode of our perturbation controller and train both our policy and this new controller simultaneously. We can think of the perturbation controller as a learned substitute for a reset mechanism. It pushes the robot to a variety of rarely visited states, allowing the robot to attempt the task from a variety of configurations. The perturbation controller also serves as an exploration mechanism, preventing the robot from getting stuck for too long. Second, RL from the robot's onboard sensors can be challenging since these observations are often much higher dimensional than the underlying state. We turn to unsupervised learning, specifically variational autoencoders, to discover more compact representations of our sensor's outputs. This can be very important for getting RL to work from high dimensional observations, especially on more challenging tasks. Finally, although obtaining rewards without instrumentation is difficult, it's often possible to specify the task with images of success. Given these images, we can train a success classifier and use the probability outputted by this classifier as reward. The classifier treats the success images as positives and all other observations collected by the policy as negatives. This system allows the agent to assign itself reward from its onboard sensors without requiring human intervention. Putting it all together, we have a real-world robotic RL system which can learn tasks in environments without instrumentation or intervention. To train the system, the user just has to provide success images of the task to be completed, and then can leave the system to train unattended. The perturbation controller allows the learn policy to successfully evaluate from any initial configuration. We demonstrate the system on a real-world task. In this task, the robot needs to push the beads apart, arranging two on either side from any initial configuration. We start by collecting images of the completed task. Then the robot is left to train unattended for several hours. During this time, the policy, the perturbation controller, and the success classifier are all jointly trained on the collected data. Finally, we evaluate the policy from many configurations and find that the policy is able to successfully complete the task from all of them. We show that the same system can successfully solve a variety of other tasks, which we detail in our paper. So thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you at our poster session.